Hey guys, okay, so I'm back again today with another video and today's video will be on how to cope with losing a loved one. This video is a video that I have procrastinated for two months now to do. For all my old YouTubers, all my old subscribers and viewers, you know that I just recently came back and trying to keep uploading the content for you guys every week like I used to do. But previously, a couple of months ago, I have been gone for like a month. And I told you guys that I will tell you a little bit later because of just certain reasons I wasn't ready to talk about it. Um, at this time, I'm still not ready to talk about it, but I think it's time for me to address some of the reasons why I've been gone and also to give other people help if they're going through the same thing. People lose loved ones every single day, so I honestly, I feel your pain. I know there's some times where you are going and you're driving around and you see the limousine, the funeral limousine with a whole bunch of cars falling behind it. And you just think, oh my God, you feel sorry for these people, but you never had to be in their shoes where you have had to be the one in that limo following behind the loved one in the first one. You never had to feel that way. So you you feel sympathy for that person, but you truly, truly don't know how it feels until it happens to you. And this particular thing happened to me. And it happened to me suddenly. That's what I had to go through. Oh, this is hard. Around two months ago, I lost my mom. And this happens to be the most. It has to be the most hardest thing I've ever, ever had to deal with. Um, so yeah. Um, I, like I said, I lost my mom. And it's not something that will go away. It's, I will be living with this for the rest of my life. You know, because. If you lost your brother or your sister, of course, it's devastating and it's heartbreaking and it hurts. But the thought of losing your mother is the hardest thing that you will probably ever, 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 ever have to encounter. Um, I'm not saying one hurts more than the other, but I'm pretty sure that losing your mom will hurt a lot more. Uh, my mom did everything for me. She was like my assistant, my manager, my best friend, my counselor. Like, my mom was everything for me. So, it really hurt for me to lose her. And that was one of the reasons why I was off of YouTube for like a month. Because I just, I didn't have the energy to post or try to record a video. Because I just was going through too much. Um, but I do love YouTube. It's the way that I express myself. It's the way that I keep myself happy. So I do love my YouTube channel. And that's why I came back. Because 
is something that I always loved. And my mom, she she knew that. So that's one of the reasons why. One of the reasons why I came back to doing videos on YouTube. Um some of the ways to cope with losing a loved one because it's very hard so it's not nothing you never get over you're not gonna ever ever get over losing a loved one so this is that is not what this video is about because that's not something you can ever ever get over the best way for me that I'm dealing with it is trying to avoid the situation, avoid reality, which means I stay busy so I don't have to think about it. Stay with friends, hang out with friends a lot, you know, go out, have fun, try to do something that will take your mind off of reality. That's one of the main things that I personally do to help cope with what I'm dealing with. Um, talk to your family members that are still here because they are there for you. And my family members, they all check up on me all the time. My family members check on me all the time to make sure that I'm okay. So make sure you also keep in contact with the family members that you do still have because they are still here for you. So just make sure that you're doing that. Again, make sure that you stay busy. That's the main way to do it. Deal with it. Um, it's something that you deal with. It's not something that you get over. It's something that you just have to deal with at the end of the day. Because it's not something that you will ever get over. You're not going to ever get over losing a loved one. And I'm here to tell you that. You're not going to never get over losing your loved one. You're, you're, it's just not going to happen. You just have to figure out ways that's best for you to deal with it. For me, the best way to deal with it is by avoiding it. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy because it's going to be very hard. I think about my mom every day. There are some times where I'm driving to work and I just bust out in tears. You know? Because... It's not easy. It's not easy. I'm not going to sit here and be in front of this camera and tell you that it is what it isn't. But it's literally something that you have to cope with and figure out what's best for you. The best way for me is to keep myself busy. Keep myself entertained. Make myself do something where I'm not constantly always thinking about it um i know someone who has lost their family member and when their mom passed a couple of years ago when she told me that she's done like she said that she started drinking a lot and stuff because she just wants to try to find an escape from it but that did not help you know so i would recommend if you are doing that please stop because that's not going to help you at all. And I'm telling you that's based on someone else's experience. The best way to d deal with it is try to cope with it. You know. Always know that they're in a better place. You know. Always think about. Even though you can't talk to them. Even though you can't talk to them, they're always there for you. So, keep in mind that as well when dealing with losing a loved one. They're gone but never forgotten. And... 
they wouldn't want you to be sad all the time even though it's hard to not to be sad yeah um but just take it day by day and like i said just keep yourself busy and just keep doing what you love to do and just make sure that whoever that loved one is make sure you're doing them proud but that's the best way that you can cope with someone um I thought I was ready to film this video, but I'm, I'm really, I'm not ready to film this video. But since I already pressed record, you know, I'm going to upload it anyway. Because I'm not, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I am not doing this video again. So you guys are going to see me crying throughout this whole video, but whatever. I hope you guys found this video informative, you know, for the parts that I wasn't crying on. Um, like I said, it's not an easy way to cope with someone that you love passing away, but it's just something that you honestly deal with and you just try to cover it up with what life hasn't already taken away from you. And you just push through, you know. It's not something that you're going to ever get over, but it's something that you just have to deal with. Because there's nothing that you can do at this point. Because it's, it's, it's permanently happening. Like, this is a permanent, a permanent thing. Like, there's no changing it. None. But is something that you have to deal with. Make sure that you click the subscribe button to be informed on my next upcoming videos. And yeah, that is it for this video. Um, I can't talk about it no more. So I guess I'll just see you guys in my next one.